Okay, assalamualaikum and hi. So today we going to uh, discuss about uh, implementation of our design into an FPGA board. So in this case, DE270 FPGA, as you can see here. So you just open the manual first before we go to the implementation side. So here is actually the uh, physical view of the board, right? And if you go to page um, this page, page number one, so the E270 package. So what are included inside the package? So basically, we need to have uh, these three items. The first is the D270 board, the power cable, and also the uh, USB cable. So these are the three important stuff required for the implementation stage. So this included in your box, huh? right? So if you scroll further down, okay, so here, here is actually the detail of the board, okay. So this is actually what we call as the DE270 FPGA board, and this is the device door for the FPGA. If you zoom in, you will be able to see the device number, which is EP2C70F8969C6, okay. So this is actually the device that you need to set in your Altera quarters FPGA, right? Okay, we zoom full. And then this is actually the I.O. for your DD270 board. We only need to connect uh, to the board with two uh, port. One is actually, the, of course, the power supply, okay? We connect the supply, power supply here and make sure we release this power off on switch. Okay, we release it so that it's in off condition. And then the, the, the second cable, which is the USB blaster port. So you need to produce the USB cable and connect to the USB blaster port. And then the other side, you connect to your USB port of your computer or your laptop. Okay. And then once once everything is okay connected and then you switch on the power so during this time you should be able to see this word welcome to altera d270 and you also able to see the leds up here are blinking okay if you're not able to see don't worry okay okay and then make sure that your button here the slide switch here run or program switch here is uh, set to the run mode nah? so slide to the run mode okay slide to the run mode so that we will choose the jtag mode okay why we choose jtag mode so you go to the page 34 of the manual so here is actually the uh, what we call introduction how we configure the cyclone to fpga so we will be using the uh, first mode nah? which is the jtag programming mode we're not going to use the as programming mode Okay. We will use the JTAG programming mode. So JTAG stands for Joint Test Action Group, okay. which configuration bitstream is downloaded directly into the FPGA, Cyclone 2 FPGA, and uh, will retain, the configuration bit will retain as long as power is applied on the board. If the power is off, and then you need to reprogram again. Okay. We will use the JTAG. Right. <coughs> Here is actually the step. First, as I mentioned, we need to ensure that power is applied to the E2 port. And then you connect the USB port and USB cable to the USB blaster port. Right? And then uh, you configure the FPGA programming circuit by setting to run. Okay? Setting the slide switch to run, as mentioned. And then <coughs> we are now ready to uh, program the FPGA. Okay? Here is actually the illustration. Okay? Right? So from Quartus Programmer, we download to the uh, using USB blaster uh, circuit and then make sure we set this to run and then uh, we'll configure to our FPGA board. Okay, so to see the the, the, the programmer operation, we will go to the Quartus 2, right? Okay, wait now. Huh? We go to the Quartus 2. So we need to open the Quartus 2, okay. Okay, quarters two, we open the quarters two. So, 
Okay, it's our quarters two, and then here is uh, our design, for example. So, for example, in this case, I'm using uh, a different version of the board, which is EP2 C35. In your case, it's C70. Okay, so you need to browse for the C70 and then change to the device number as mentioned just now. Okay, C70, this device. Okay, in my case, I'm not using this device, so I just keep it. Right? Okay, so make sure you have all the pin assigned to your um, design, right? So before that, we see the RTL view of our design. <coughs> so this will do a compilation up to the RTL view. Okay, then this is actually the design. So we have all the IOs here, clock 50. Okay, and if you zoom in, you will see all the IOs. Okay, on the left hand side is the input, on the right hand side is the output. Okay. And make sure in your pin planner, so different design got different number of IOs. Okay, don't worry about that. So pin planner, okay, you make sure that you have assigned all the pin, including the clock. Okay, clock 50 is assigned to pin and 32 and so on, depending on your uh, uh, data sheet or your uh, type of FPGA. So in this case, uh, EPT, EP2C35. In your case, EP2C70. Okay, if every, everything is ready and then uh, it's now time to uh, generate the programming file. Okay, <clears throat> wait for a while until the uh, uh, generation is completed. Okay, we will see the progress from here. Okay. Will take some time now 89% and then okay so no errors mean okay and then you open the programmer so this is actually interface to uh, down, download your program okay download your configuration bit stream so make sure that you have uh, the hardware here means that your uh, FPG is detected okay detected right so if your FPG is not detected or you make sure the first detect huh? right and make sure the USB blaster is detected here. If not detected, you go to hardware setup and then you add. Okay. In this case, it's already add. Okay. If not, then you need to, if not detected, you need to go to your uh, device manager. You go to device manager and then you go to USB serial bus controller. Uh, in, in this case, you have this USB Ultra USB blaster means that the computer detected that device. In your case, if you if you're not detected, there will be a question mark here. You right click on the question mark, and then you go to update driver, and then you browse manually for the driver. And normally, this is actually the location where you install the quarters, and then you go to the driver folder. Okay, you browse manually. You go to the driver folder. Okay. Go to Altera thirteen. Okay, and then um, quarters. Okay, and then driver folder and then you click OK. Okay. And when you click OK and then you follow the step next until finish. That will install you the driver. That is for the case of uh, the driver is not detected. For our case we uh, the system already get detected with the blaster and then you can proceed. Okay. To, to program you uh, will see the progress of the configuration here from the screen here. Okay. You just make sure that this one is thick. And then this is your SOF file. So where to get the SOF file? So let's say I delete this. So we browse it for the location. So normally, uh, it will automatically generate it for you when you double click on the uh, generate assembly, uh, generate programming file here. Okay. So you choose the SOF file, not POF, SOF, SRAM object file. And then make sure the date and the time is updated up to the date that you do you did the uh, compilation and also generated the B3. Okay, and then open it, and then it's here, and then make sure you tick it, which means that we want to program to our FPGA, EP2C35, in my case, in your case, C70. So, and then you start the programming, and then you will see the status here, 100%. You set your board is now uh, downloaded with the uh, design, and uh, you, you will test the design, okay? Uh, so, that's all about uh, the information about how to download or configure your FPJ. Uh, stay connected or stay tuned by subscribing my channel, like and subscribe my channel for more updates.
Okay, thank you and hope it helps.